What's up, everybody? Back again, D4s, Server 428, Battle of Vig. Um, today we're going to do, um, we're going to really do no Vikings, nothing to do. I think I got one monster here. Um, we're going to talk about monsters, and we're going to talk about gathering, and we're going to talk about becoming efficient and getting the most you can back um, out of really rallying and um, and gathering. So set that for everybody here real quick. All right. So when it comes to, um, monster generals, right, there are really five I would put into, um, into a category of important. Um, and depending on what's important for you, you can make those selections. You can have a variety of them. Uh, you can use them as mains. You can use them as assistants, um, we'll get into, you know, kind of what's important on them. But when it comes to monster generals, there are two things for me that are important. Speed, 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 speed. And second, double drops, right? If I can get double the rewards, um, I'm happy. So I want to get my double drop percentage up as high as possible. And I want to get my speed up as high as possible. What are the generals that are good? Uh, buy bars, as you can see, I just uh, put them in a march. Um, he is great because he gives you a 25% double items drop rate for monsters when uh, generals leading the army. So, um, that's a huge, uh, perk. If we look at, um, some other ones, uh, I think, uh, I would consider this to be the new best one, um, because she can take the luck book, uh, her percentage is a little bit higher. If we look at Theodora, you'll notice she's going to give you some attack, uh, increase buffs as well. Um, but 10% double items drop rate, and she can take the book, right? So the, um, do I have one with her? I think I tested it. Yeah, so you can see she takes uh, the luck book. Uh, so with a max luck book, uh, I think her double drop rate is uh, 28, which is the highest in the game. So she's great. Um, again, it's like, do I want to invest gems into raising her when I've got a bunch of buy bears already set up? You know, probably not. Maybe that'll put your project down the road, but definitely saving her. I think she's great. Um, Cleopatra uh, is another uh, general you can get from the tavern. A little less double drops rate, but she's great. Um, and then uh, the other two are um, Nathaniel Green. Uh, he's going to be great because he reduces stamina costs. So it would just be awesome if you could put him as an assistant because uh, he's going to save you some stamina. Um, and then my single favorite general, uh, I actually use him uh, as a main. I've invested uh, pretty heavily uh, in him because um, he's fast as shit, is Hugh Cubing. Right, there he is. All right, so uh, what you'll notice here is he reduces troop marching time by 20%. So again, throw him in as an assistant, uh, fly to wherever you're marching, things will be great. So when it comes to these generals, um, the biggest thing that you want to cultivate for is leadership. Why is that? March speed, right? So we talked about it before, get your march speed up, get your double drop rates up. And we talk about gear. I think it's important on all your monster generals that you have a ring, whether it's the fearless, fearless king's ring or the courageous dragon ring. They have double drop, high double drop rates uh, for monsters. Um, I had set these up before. I think I got forged high enough to do dragon um, rings, which are, I think it's only 2% higher. I think it's like 28%. So it, it's like not worth it for me to reinvest for that extra 2%. Um, but again, if you have at least two of these uh, King's pieces on here, look at that March speed, 15%. We look at the boots, March speed, 25%. We look at the spear, March speed to monsters, 50%, right? So if you'll notice, you know, all of my, my monster generals, my five by bars and uh, Hugh, Hugh Bing, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, um, they all have those three pieces. Again, you can do the dragon gear, get a little bit higher percent. Maybe you're using this as like a main monster general. Um, if, if you want to, uh, some effective ones for killing monsters, uh, Ethelflet's really great. I, I, I don't know what I have for gear on her. I don't really use her. Um, but she has uh, some great specialties. Um, and some great monster stats. Uh, Caesar, also phenomenal. Um, as you start to open specs on these, um, they have great 
um, some debuffs uh, for monsters, right? So, you know, when it comes to monsters, um, that's, I think, kind of the best options. When we look at books that we want to place on them, you know, I'll use Bybaris for, like, really big, like, uh, your Mirror 5 or, or that um, B16 that we just killed. Um, basically, you know, I'll use them as an assistant, so I like to have the March Size book on there. And again, March Speed, Monster March Speed, right? We're going to fly to get there. Um, so, but we'll look. Oh, I don't think I did it. Um, the other thing that you need to make sure of when you're hunting monsters is make sure that you have your March Speed to Monsters on in your... Um, in your uh, monarch gear and then i know i don't because I, I didn't switch all this over but sieve treasure um get over to this thing march speed the monsters uh and again what you'll see here is um guy that marches fast right so if we go over here um let's just find uh we'll kill a b7 right now uh we won't rally it because people make fun of me um we're gonna use um QB, um, we're going to watch, right, flies. So he's going, you know, 50 kilometers in 15 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever that is. I think he can cover like 200 uh, kilometers in a minute. So you can start traveling a pretty long distance. And, you know, what we notice here is if we go in and look at reports, Oh, damn it. Only got one. But because I got the double drop ring and I got, you know, the, the luck book, you know, I was able to get a double drop on that. So more often than not, I'm getting doubles. That's great. All right. So the next thing that we're going to look into um, is gathering. Um, you know, I, I've kind of cannibalized my gathering channels. I, I don't think I've gathered since K35 released. Um, I was great at gathering when the game first started um and it it allowed me to grow and and really do so organically you know when you're first in the game and you're small and you, you don't really have the ability to kill these huge monsters um i think gathering is really important uh what's the biggest thing that helps with gathering korea korea culture right uh, get your main subsidy to a Korea culture, get as many Korea uh, subsidies as you can. It's going to bring home more resources um, when you gather, and that's huge. Um, the other, Jindiak, right? Brings back 40% extra from world map uh, and 20% from alliance resource spots. So she's the best. Constance, I believe, is helpful as well. I think she's pretty good. But again, Jindiak's the best. And if we look at this King's gear, uh, a lot of this King's gear has speed uh, boosts for specific troops. So we see the axe is for lumber. Um, I assume this is for lumber too. Yep. Uh, uh, the Courageous King's leg armor is for lumber gathering speed. And then you'll notice I have her with a lumber gathering book on there, right? So when I was doing it, the, you know, Jindiak 3 was my, my lumber gatherer. And then we turn around and, um, you know, we go to another one here. And there we go. So there was a food piece on here and food gatherer. So this, you know, Jindiak 4 must have been my food gatherer. And we go over here and we'll see the other piece that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to point out. It was this champion's armor, right? So you'll see with a four-piece champion set on, you get extra resources from gathering 10%. So when you are gathering, there's a couple things that I think you should do. One is obviously... Um, Make sure that your uh, increases all resource gathering speed. Make sure that that's active, right? Because that's going to make you go faster. Two is to make sure that you have the right gear and books um, on your generals, preferably Jindiak, so that she goes faster. And three is when you cultivate, now you'll see with Jindiak, what's the highest cultivation there? Politics. Okay, so politics is at its highest. Why is that? Resource gathering speed, right? So they're going to go as fast as possible. They're going to bring back as much as possible. Again, um, it was K35, so I don't think they had resource tiles 15. But in any regard, I, was, I think I was getting probably 600 um, mil a day uh, in, in resources, um, which was pretty great. Um, it, it, you know, there's people probably can do much more than that now. I, I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, 
The speed gear, so this King's gear only needs to be on when um, she lands at the tile and it will set the speed. Once the seed is set, that the speed is set, that gear can be pulled off. Not that you would want to do that, but that gear can be pulled off. Why is that? Because then you could replace this champion's gear, which is going to get you the four extra resource from gathering speed. I'm sorry, four extra resources from gathering 10%. And as long as that is on your general when it leaves the tile and enters your castle, you will get the extra 10% back. So neat little trick. It's a lot of work um, to constantly be changing that gear. But if you're free to play, um, it's huge, right? To, to get that extra resources, try and manage it as much as possible. And so now we're going to go into like, how do you become an asset to your alliance, right? So, you know, maybe you're killing monsters, maybe you do it as a team, maybe you got one person that, that's kind of big and, and rallies for a period of time. Um, they can't do that if you don't find them items, right? And, and same thing, like, you know, if you got to go look for tiles so that you can gather, you, you got to go look. Well, there's an efficiency to do it properly, right? So most all of the high tiles and monsters spawn around um, uh, the middle of the map, right? And this map is certainly not to scale because I think we're like 120 kilometers from the middle. Um, and it doesn't look, it looks like we're in the corner. But anyways, so I'm going to take just a screenshot and I'm going to kind of show you what I do. So... I basically divide into quadrants and I will search quadrant one back and forth. Then I'll search quadrant two back and forth, quadrant three back and forth, then quadrant four back and forth. Um, doing so allows all the march lines to go into one quadrant. You can move to the other. By the time you get all the way back to the first quadrant, hopefully monsters have respawned. It's worked really effectively for me and for the Alliance. I will set a perimeter. You know, I will go, obviously, to the left of our uh, hive. I'll go further. Maybe it's 300 kilometers. To the right, I'll only go 200 kilometers. Just based on where we're located, depending on where you are, you might want to change that. You know, if you're, if you're above the center, you know, maybe you go 300 kilometers down, but you only go 200 up, whatever that is. But in any regard, um, you know, you, just, you can simply scroll, try and keep a straight line, as much as possible, you know, go left till you get to, you know, whatever that is. You'll see I'm at 250 right now. Let's say that's where you want to go to. You scroll up and scroll back. And you're not going to miss much. You know, you're going to cover most of the map. You can find stuff, start rallying it, share chords and chat, whatever you have to do. There's a little trick I learned. Uh, I find it more effective because I can do it much easier um, from an effort level is if you use the teleport button, your castle will float, right? It's asking me, do I want to go here? Nope. I'm going to take my castle and I'm going to start scrolling it. So if you see here, I can scroll to the left. I can change um, the speed at which I go at. I can go a little bit slower. I can go a little bit faster, but it's so much easier to stay in a straight line. Uh, anything that I see, I can stop and post. When I want to go up, I'll go up. I'll start going back in the other direction. Again, you can go at whatever speed you want. Um, it's going to allow you to see it without having to swipe 400 times back and forth. If there is something that you find that you want to rally or you want to post, you just stop, share it, pick back up, start again. Um, so hopefully that's helpful for you. I find it to be very helpful. Um, and really that's it. When it comes to... Um, you know, rallying monsters and, and gathering, um, you know, outside of purchase packs, that's really the only way to get, you know, resources um, and, and other items that you desperately need to grow and get stronger. Um, so it's, it's tremendously important. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Thanks.